For the first time in North America, treatment for gonorrhea has begun to fail, meaning that the era of another incurable sexually transmitted infection could be on the horizon. Hi everyone, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome to D News. Uh, scary news today! Until recently, gonorrhea, sometimes lovingly referred to as the clap or morning drip, was easily treated with a round of antibiotics. But in the past couple of years, more and more cases of gonorrhea that don't respond to treatment have been cropping up in the UK, Austria, France, Norway, Japan, and now it's in Canada, which is our next door neighbor. This week we learned that 7% of patients with gonorrhea at a Toronto health clinic still had it after a round of cephalosporins, which is the last effective oral antibiotic used for treatment. The CDC is crap in their pants. They warn that it's only a matter of time before this drug-resistant super gonorrhea makes its way to the US, which is a little problem. 700,000 Americans catch gonorrhea every year. After chlamydia, it's the most common sexually transmitted infection in the US. Gonorrhea usually has no symptoms, and the person who's infected doesn't know they have it, which is part of why it's so common. When it does have symptoms, it causes painful urination, abdominal pain, a yellowy, greenish discharge, and itching. Whether or not symptoms show, if it goes untreated, this infection can have some nasty consequences, namely the inability to have kids. It increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy, which can be fatal. Babies who are born to moms with gonorrhea are 50% more likely to develop eye infections that can result in blindness. It can cause a painful condition called epididymitis in the tubes attached to the testicles. Gonorrhea can also spread to the blood or joints and cultivate a few other life-threatening conditions. So not good. But how does something like this happen all of a sudden? Put simply, the organism evolves and develops a resistance to drugs formulated to kill it. This is especially true when the drugs are used very often, which when you have 700,000 people with it, Go figure. The problem is gonorrhea's adaptation moves at an astounding pace, partially because it picks up pieces of DNA from other bacteria. And when the evolution of an organism moves more quickly than we can, we are unable to treat it. According to the World Health Organization, in a few years, gonorrhea may not respond to any treatments. So what does this mean for you? It means if you're having sex, it should be safer sex, safer sex, safer sex for everybody. Gonorrhea is transmitted through sexual fluids you know what I'm talking about, vaginas, butts, and peens. You don't have to live in a plastic bubble or even wrap yourself in saran wrap unless you really want to. Just wear a condom. Use your dental dams. Vaginal sex, oral sex, and anal sex can all transmit the bacteria. So wrap your junk before you bump every single time, especially if you live in the South. Mississippi, Louisiana, and surrounding states have some of the highest gonorrhea rates in the world. Because symptoms don't often show, it's also not a bad idea to go get tested with a partner before you become sexually active with them. It's super easy and cheap, or even free, to get tested for gonorrhea at your local sexual health clinic. Just pee in a cup. Sounds so bad, right? It could be much worse. It could be super gonorrhea. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on this development down below and hit subscribe so you can catch our next D News update.